there everybody welcome back to star wars lads for the latest episode of the star wars character guides today we'll be talking about the long-awaited video for mara jade's character reading and playing guide i'll be running down everything that mara makes a full appearance in in timeline order starting from her earliest appearances all the way to her latest appearances in the star wars legends timeline before i get started make sure you hit that like button, really helps me out with the algorithm, help me get to 50 likes on this video, and also subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're interested in content like this, I have a ton of it on the channel. Make sure you subscribe with the notifications bell on so you can stay up to date with all the latest from Star Wars Lads. The first point on the timeline we'll start with is the video game Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Galactic Battlegrounds is a 2001 real-time strategy game that featured multiple campaigns from all the different films that had released up until 2001, which included Episode 1, 4, 5, and 6. Mara's next appearance is in the two-part story from Star Wars Tales No. 1 and 2, Extinction by Ron Mars, with art by Claudio Castellini. Taking place shortly before Episode 4, A New Hope, the story sees Mara follow a lead in which she found another missing Jedi, hiding on the fifth planet in the Kofrigan system. Taking place shortly after Episode 4, A New Hope in Zero ABY, we have the novel Allegiance by Timothy Zahn. The novel follows a group of five Imperial Stormtroopers who desert from the Galactic Empire and embark on a streak of vigilantism while encountering the likes of Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, the Rebel Alliance, and Mara Jade. Allegiance is the first part of a duology in which the second book is the next one I'm going to talk about, and as a general rule of thumb for this video and for Mara Jade in general, pretty much anything Timothy Zahn has written about the character I will mark as essential. Allegiance begins Zahn's examination of Mara prior to Return of the Jedi, which most of her appearances usually come after Return of the Jedi. Mara isn't the main character of this novel, but she does get quite a few chapters to herself, and she is one of the leading supporting characters in this novel. After that, you would follow it up with the other essential novel by Timothy Zahn in this duology, Choices of One. Choices of One is a direct sequel to Allegiance. It also takes place in Zero ABY, about eight months after the Battle of Yavin. Choices of One features a lot more Mara than Allegiance does, this time seeing Mara team up with the five renegade stormtroopers known as the Hand of Judgment. After that, you could play Star Wars Galaxies and Empire Divided. Galaxies was an MMORPG that was discontinued continued in December of 2011. Like Galactic Battlegrounds, Mara Jade does make an appearance in this game. Next, I would recommend you move to the short story Sleight of Hand, The Tale of Mara Jade. Sleight of Hand is written by Timothy Zahn for the Tales of Jabba's Palace paperback book collection. The story takes place in 4 ABY, shortly before and during Return of the Jedi. The story follows Mara as she's sent to infiltrate Jabba's palace, disguised as one of the dancing girls, Arika, to assassinate Luke. I would also say Sleight of Hand is an essential Mara Jade story. Next, you would listen to the radio drama of Return of the Jedi released in 1996. Because the Return of the Jedi radio drama was released 13 years after the film, it incorporated multiple references to the Star Wars Expanded Universe up to that point. Mara Jade does appear in this as the dancer Arika in Jabba's palace, cementing her place amongst the story of Return of the Jedi. You would then move to Mara Jade by the Emperor's Hand, a six-issue comic book miniseries by Timothy Zahn and Michael A. Stackpole, with art by Carlos Esguera. The story follows Mara shortly after the death of Emperor Palpatine in Return of the Jedi, as she embarks on one last final mission, the assassination of the leader of the Black Nebula crime organization. This is one of the few comic book series to fully star Mara Jade, and because it is written by Timothy Zahn, I would say this this is an essential Mara Jade story. Next, you would move back into Star Wars Tales, going back to issue number one for the short story Mara Jade, A Night on the Town. This story is also written by Timothy Zahn and takes place somewhere within the year after Return of the Jedi. The story sees Mara land on the planet Kintoni in an attempt to escape the forces of Isan Izar. She gets entangled in a conflict that sees General Crix Maydeen of the Rebellion attempting to interrogate former Imperial Governor Bar Kale to obtain the location of his sector forces. Next, you would read the short story Handoff, also 
also by Timothy Zahn, from Star Wars Gamer Magazine number 10. The story also takes place in 4ABY sometime in the year following Return of the Jedi. The story takes place on the mid-rim planet of Chibius, where Mara attends a symphonic concert, leading to her first meeting with the slicer Zacharis Gint. Gint became a pretty big character in some of Zahn's other work, so I would label this as an essential Mara story. Next you would read First Contact, another short story by Timothy Zahn, published in the Star Wars Adventure Journal number one. Taking place in 8ABY, First Contact is an essential Mara Jade story, telling how she first began to work for the smuggler Talon Card. After that, you would finally get into the Thrawn trilogy, featuring the novels Heir to the Empire, Dark Force Rising, and The Last Command. The Thrawn trilogy takes place in 9 ABY and tells the story of the appearance of Grand Admiral Thrawn, a master strategist of the Imperial Remnant, looking to put down the New Republic once and for all and re-establish Imperial rule. Mara is one of the main characters of the series and appears in all three books, but first appears in Heir to the Empire as an employee of Talon Card. The Thrawn trilogy is absolutely an essential Mara Jade story. It not only introduces her character for the first time, but sets her in motion for all of the major events that are to come in the Star Wars Expanded Universe. Next is the short story Retreat from Coruscant by Laurie Burns, which appeared originally in Star Wars Adventure Journal number 7. The story takes place in 10 ABY shortly before the events of the first Dark Empire comic book. Next you would move into another video game, this time with the expansion pack for Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 titled Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith. Set five years after Dark Forces 2, in the game Mara gets to carry out several missions for the New Republic, which also ultimately lead to her confrontation with the series main character Kyle Katarn as he starts to travel down the path of the dark side. I don't know if I would say Jedi Knight Mysteries of the Sith is an essential Mara story, but just for the sheer fact that this is the only video game in which you get to star as Mara Jade, I would give it an essential play rating. Mara's appearance in the Thrawn trilogy was incredibly popular and it led her to be in almost every single Bantam era book in some capacity. She appeared in the Jedi Academy trilogy, only being mentioned in Jedi Search the first book, but appearing fully in Dark Apprentice and Champions of the Force. While Mara does play a small role in these books, and her initial business relationship is set up with Lando, I would not consider the Jedi Academy trilogy essential for Mara Jade's story. If you are interested in what Mara is doing during the Jedi Academy trilogy though, I Jedi written by Michael A. Stackpole gives a different perspective on the events of that trilogy from the perspective of his main character of his X-Wing Rogue Squadron 4 book series, Corn Horn. Mara does make a bit more of an appearance in I Jedi than she does across the Jedi Academy trilogy, and in this novel she does allude a bit more towards her feelings for Luke, which will lead to a furthering of that relationship later on in the timeline. Mara next appears in the unofficial Callista trilogy, beginning with the novel Children of the Jedi by Barbara Hambly, continuing with the novel Dark Saber by Kevin J. Anderson, and ending with only a mention in the novel Planet of Twilight, also by Barbara Hambly. Mara's next full appearance does come in the novel The New Rebellion, which takes place in 17 ABY, written by Christine Catherine Rush. Next is the story Jade Solitaire, written by Timothy Zahn, for Tales from the New Republic. The story takes place sometime around 18 ABY and is essentially the tale of how Mara Jade acquires her formidable starship, the Jade's Fire. Mara's next appearances are in another supporting role in the Corellian trilogy, appearing in all three books Ambush at Corellia, Assault on Salonia, and Showdown at Centerpoint. These novels were all written by Roger McBride Allen and take place in 18 ABY. The next essential Mara Jade appearances are in the stories of the Hand of Thrawn duology, Spectre of the Past, and Vision of the Future, written by Timothy Zahn and taking place in 19 ABY. For the majority of the page time, Mara Jade is directly on a mission with Luke Skywalker. This duology is really where you get to see their relationship grow and flourish. I won't spoil what happens by the end of the novel, but if you are somebody who is into the Mara Jade and Luke relationship, these are absolutely essential. Even if you're not, these are the next biggest steps since the Thrawn trilogy 
for Mara Jade. After that, you would move back over to comics for the 19 ABY story Star Wars Union by Michael A. Stackpole with art by Robert Taranishi. Talking about Union is a spoiler, so this is a bit of a warning in case you want to know absolutely nothing about what happens here. But Union is the story of Luke Skywalker and Mara Jade's marriage. It is another absolutely essential piece of Mara Jade's story. Next, you would move on to the short story Judge's Call by Timothy on, which was written for Valentine's Day on the Del Rey website in 2004. The story takes place in 21 ABY, two years after they were originally married. Next you would read Survivor's Quest, another novel written by Timothy Zahn taking place in 22 ABY, taking place three years after the marriage of Mara Jade and Luke Skywalker. The novel focuses on them learning the ropes of being a couple and struggling to find time to spend together between the constant demand of their duties. The novel continues continues to build on a lot of Timothy Zahn's Mara and Grand Admiral Thrawn mythology, giving more interesting information on the Outbound Flight Project, while also continuing to build up and strengthen the relationship between Luke and Mara. This is another essential Mara Jade story. Mara next appears in the short story The Crystal, written by Elaine Cunningham in Star Wars Gamer 5, and then that leads us up to the new Jedi Order book initiative. The New Jedi Order was a multi-author book series initiative started by Del Rey from 1999 to 2003, consisting of 19 novels, 3 ebook novellas, and 3 short stories. The series spanned 4 years in the Star Wars timeline, taking place from 25 ABY to 29 ABY. It incorporated all of the biggest Star Wars characters of the New Republic era, and that obviously means Mara Jade. Mara doesn't appear in every book, and I will list here for those of you who are only interested in reading the Mara books, every book she is in in the New Jedi Order. However, I would say this is an essential Mara story, considering its ramifications not just on the story of Mara Jade, but of course the entire galaxy, as well as a major event that occurs to set forward the relationship and family of Mara Jade and Luke Skywalker. So even though I would recommend you read every book in the New Jedi Order, if you were just to read the ones that Mara appeared in, you would read Vector Prime, Dark Tide 1 Onslaught, Dark Tide 2 Ruin, Agents of Chaos 1 Heroes Trial, Balance Point, Edge of Victory 1 Conquest, the ebook novella Recovery, Edge of Victory 2 Rebirth, Star by Star, Dark Journey, Enemy Lines 1 Rebel Dream, Enemy Lines 2 Rebel Stand, Destiny's Way, Force Heretic 1 Remnant, Force Heretic 2 Refugee, Force Heretic 3 Reunion, The Final Prophecy, and The Unifying Force. Mara has been mentioned in a lot of stories that have taken place outside of the main series, but her only full appearance was in the comic book series Star Wars Invasion by Tom Taylor. Mara specifically appears in Invasion Refugees number 4. You would follow up on the new Jedi Order book series with the trilogy of novels from Troy Denning, the Dark Nest trilogy. Mara does appear in all three of these novels, and just because this is the bridge between the new Jedi Order and ultimately Legacy of the Force, I would say this is another essential read for Mara Jade. You would then next move into the Legacy of the Force series. Legacy of the Force was another publishing initiative, this time featuring nine novels. Again, this series is essential to Mara Jade's story, and you should definitely read every single entry in the series. So after Legacy of the Force, I am going to talk about a few more things I think you could read. However, if you know anything about Legacy of the Force, everything else I'm going to talk about will be containing big spoilers for Mara Jade's story. I can't talk about these things without spoilers, so if you want to avoid anything, thank you for watching the video. Make sure you like it and subscribe to the channel for more. If you do want to hear what I have to say about the following material, then watch on. After Mara's death in Legacy of the Force, she does appear sometimes as a ghost and is mentioned a ton in the rest of the Star Wars EU material that takes place after Legacy of the Force. If you want an actual appearance of Mara Jade instead of just a mention, you could read the novel Cross Current by Paul S. Kemp. In this, Mara does appear as a vision. The last thing you can read is the Fate of the Jedi series. Obviously, Mara doesn't appear in them outside of her appearances as a ghost, but if you want the full complete appearances of Mara Jade, then you could read this here.
So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you have read some of this stuff, let me know some of your favorite Mara Jade stories. Please again, like the video. It'll really help me out. Help me get to 50 likes. Subscribe to the channel for more Star Wars content like this. And stay tuned for more videos, shorts, live streams, and community polls coming here in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.